all right all right welcome back so yesterday during the pm session we do have fomc right as you can see it's a fomc meeting minutes that's what the event was called so for that event usually i don't really care about what the price is going on because i'm not even looking at the charts the reason being it's usually very how do i say uneventful okay so as you can see price stayed within this dealing range here from the am session right nothing has changed and right now it's trading above the premium okay i mean trading above the equilibrium which is in the premium of the entire higher time frame dealing range all right so what i'm looking at here is that Thursday is going to be a seek and destroy day. Seek and destroy usually takes out both the liquidities above and below, right? So, where, what we have? We have sell stops here, relative equal lows, and this sell stop. This is a suspect because it left the 15 minutes fair value gap open, alright? And over here, look at this equal highs here and this equal highs as well these are buy stops so usually in second destroy it will just run in both until friday we do have an event at um 8 15 a news driver so for the news driver maybe it would want to take out one side of the, of the liquidity before reversing back to take out the other side of the liquidity okay um which liquidity depends on the london kill zone all right so it will be interesting to see what happened in the what will happen in the on thursday all right usually on non-farm payrolls thursday is a no trading day because non-farm payrolls is always on the friday and 8 30 friday 8 30 all right so liquidity will be built in Thursday or even the entire week as you can see so liquidities will be built and then on Friday they will run both sides of the liquidity that's what they always do on non farm payrolls okay it's always manual intervention right what happened yesterday was that I did not expect a manual intervention yesterday yesterday was PMI red folder PMI so maybe next time in the next month or so i'll try to take note because that seems to be another event that they have ramped up their manipulation so usually manipulations you have events like cpi um, right now pmi and non-farm payrolls and of course fomc right fomc meeting minutes right interest rates decisions as well but there's one caveat to that will be usually for interest rates um, algorithms will start running at 3 so which is why I drew out this timeline here 3 I want to see if there's any any significance for that but right now I don't see any even on the 5 minutes chart it's just a range bound chart okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna just permanently not trade the FOMC meeting minutes, right? But I will definitely look to trade for the interest rate decisions after the announcement, okay? Not prior. Okay, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, we'll see what happens on London Kill Zone and maybe i might come back prior to this but i it depends right i'm not free today because i have planned not to trade today okay so if i get a chance maybe i'll update if not it would be after the event which is after the am session okay and i think that's about it um, overall draw i'm still looking up here right non farm payrolls should make the, the daily 
candles clearer right now still in consolidation okay right um, yeah I think that's about it